Do you find it easy to differentiate from the different dimensions? We'll talk about the different dimensions later on. Is it pretty easy to separate them or hard? I think it can be challenging, but I think a lot of it is just the power of observation. In our office, we'll talk to families, get a good history, do cognitive testing. So look at paper and pencil testing, computer testing, to figure out where there's a problem in thinking, because that maps out to different places in the brain. So you can do that with testing? You can With paper testing, with absolutely. With paper testing, or so you can test. tell if it's on the side of the brain, or the top of the brain, or the back of the brain, or the front of the brain? Sure, sure, there are some patterns that we look for. So if it's frontal or frontotemporal, what patterns fit into there? So with a frontal disorder, that's the big powerhouse that makes us so smart, yeah. right? So the problem in frontal temporal dementia is you see problems in decision making, or we call executive functions, so complex tasks. So we can do different tasks that really test that attention, concentration and attention. Pretty accurate. And I think you could see patterns. Again, it's patterns. It's just a clue. You have to put the whole package together. It's combination of seeing a patient, talking to the family, getting a good history, doing a neurologic exam, neuropsychiatric testing or cognitive tests, and sometimes additional imaging or what we call biomarkers. Are there other illnesses that can interfere with your testing? If somebody has thyroid disease or if somebody uh, has other problems, heart failure, uh, high blood pressure, on medications, do those interfere with your cognitive testing? Sometimes other illnesses, especially if you're acutely ill, it's really hard to test someone when they're quite sick. But most of our patients have other diseases, a multitude of diseases and a lot of the comorbidities or other diseases that affect your body actually affect the brain. So many times we start with that baseline and we can look for a change in that individual over time.